Hey everybody, it's Danny and Charlotte from the Lassercast, and we are going to be talking about hereditary, hereditary because wow. my love of horror movies is hereditary. No, it's not. No, it is. No, hereditary it's... means that it gets passed down from generation to generation in a family. I'm a little cuckoo right now, but oh, okay. Ah, so. I wanted Charlotte to watch Hereditary because I have questionable parenting skills. It was one of those movies like The Exorcist where I was like, Psh, this can't be that scary. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've gone on record <laughs> saying that Hereditary is the scariest and best horror film that I've seen in decades. Uh, so I'm always nervous when I introduce it to somebody. Uh as to if they're going to think I'm overrating it or uh, overreacting to it. So, I mean, well, you just the, said it was like The Exorcist. Not like, like The Exorcist. I mean, it was like my reaction before The Exorcist. Like, oh, this can't be that bad. Oh, my God. Now, what I will say is you did have a face. You, you had that face on of this, like... And, like, it was just that face, like, for the entire two-hour and, like, ten-minute runtime. I think the, the word I would use more than any to describe this movie is unsettling. It disturbing. Feel, yeah, oh, very much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very disturbing. Speaking of disturbing, <laughs> obviously, uh, Hereditary yeah. came out in 2018. Uh, we are uh, a day or so away from the Oscar nominations being revealed. And it still, uh, four years later, uh, sticks in my craw that Toni Collette did not at least get a nomination for Best Actress in what is one of the greatest performances I've ever seen in any type of movie. Uh, are we doing spoilers on this? Yes, okay. so we are going to be talking spoilers. Uh, I thought one of my favorite moments watching this with you was, so for those of you who haven't seen it, uh, the basic story is uh, grandma uh, of a family passes away. Uh, the granddaughter is very upset. Uh, mom is obviously very upset. Uh, and then more and more tragedy keeps happening. And that starts with Charlie, the daughter, who, so first of all, Charlotte, why don't you talk about what do you and Charlie have in common? Well, we both, <laughs> well, we both like the cutoff. Oh, no, no, it's not. Uh, we both have a, a, a nut allergy. Yeah, so Charlotte hey. is allergic to some tree nuts. <laughs> and uh, it's been this, like, continuous thing. Like, it, you know, since she was a little kid, once we figured out that she was allergic to these uh, tree nuts, that you've kind of always gotten really nervous. Like, every time you go to a party and there's dessert, you're always like, wait, wait, wait what's in there? What's in there? Uh, when you were really little, it was... I asked, uh, my mom told me a story. I was like, I was like pointing at the water. I was like, did this have nuts in it? <laughs> Uh, it was, it, I mean, it, it was to that I'm point. I'm paranoid. No, no, it was really to that point where, like, you looked at a banana and you were like, are there nuts in that? And we were like, it's a it's banana. A banana. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, so uh, Charlie, the daughter, has a nut allergy. And you you think that this is kind of just like a passing thing until she ends up going to a party with her older brother mm. and she eats a piece of cake that is full of nuts and starts having an allergic reaction. Then Her brother, worst, yeah. played by Alex Wolf, who is, again, amazing in this movie, picks her up and, like, runs her to the car. And you have an older brother, who is also a uh, senior in high school, very similar in ages I, to these two characters. At, when he was running her to the car like this, I was like... Aw, why can't Brandon be like that? And then I said, uh, wait a few minutes. You might not want to say that. And of course, in one of the most shocking moments, I'm, I'm going to go out and say it. Maybe I'm being hyperbolic. This is my face. One of the most shocking moments in modern horror history, Charlie having uh, a, uh, an allergic reaction to the nuts, sticks her head out the window to get some oxygen. 
uh, the brother. Um, he's a deer. He yeah. There's a piece of some animal in a the road. Deer. He swerves and she goes headfirst into the telephone pole. And I remember being in the movie theater and hearing just like the, <gasps> like, and then like people looked around like, no, no, that, they, that didn't just, did that just happen? And like you, what do you, you think happened? Well, you looked at me and you went, is Charlie dead? And yeah. I was like, I yeah. And... That's like my legit fear. Well, it's like, I totally thought she was just going to die of like, allergic reaction if that can be possible the reactions that the characters have in this movie are especially the mom. they feel so real like peter uh alex wolf the older brother's reaction of just shock and horror but like so shocked that he just like drives home I love how and goes afraid. to bed i love how this teenager is not afraid to cry he, he, like, he a actually, like, hugs his dad and starts crying in the shoulder. He, he's, yeah. I, so, at first, you're kind of wondering, where is the horror in this movie? It's, it's a drama. There's, there's death. There's tragedy. There's incredible grief and sadness. And the director, first-time director, Ari Aster. Is amazing. I mean, yeah. Uh, the, is able to capture the grief on these characters better than anybody I've ever seen. I honestly do get kind of scared when people have grief. I'm just like... Well, I mean, because it's a real, like, emotion, and, like, you, you feel it, especially, you know, if you've gone through something, which, sadly, you know... Yeah. Uh, but, um, eventually we find out that there is some supernatural-ish uh, thing going on here... Uh, the grandma who died at the beginning is actually, again, again, this movie came out four years ago. We're spoiling it. Get get on it already. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She was the leader of a cult to uh, this pagan god, uh, Payman. And what? Oh, no. I just... <laughs> oh, I was like, I was like, you watched the movie. I, I'm not spoiling <laughs> like, it for you. Uh, and uh, <laughs> basically... Haman, this uh, demonic god, uh, wants to inhabit the, the body of a, of a male. Unfortunately, Charlie, the girl, the, the granddaughter, she's dead. So they have to like basically emotionally break down Peter, the grandson, so that he becomes a vessel. And eventually this leads to possession and a just creepy cult uh people invading their house the, the one thing that really got me is the mom's facial expression <laughs> you know what I mean. oh my god oh uh, my god she was amazing anyway. the the scene the scene where she's uh where uh she's having the nightmare and where she's sleepwalking she's sleepwalking and then they're all covered in the paint thinner and then the and then she lights the fire and and then she wakes up and she's but uh here's also, oh go ahead the, the other thing that was scary was when her when the husband was burning and she was like like oh. all of a sudden her face just went well that's because she at that point got possessed by payman um the last you like you said it so there is this movie is just <laughs> pounding on you with grief and and creepiness and disturbing scenes but there's nothing grief. there's nothing really like outwardly horror movie about it until really mm. the last 20 minutes when the mom uh tony collette's character annie goes to throw a journal in the in the fire uh thinking that she's gonna literally catch fire from this because it happened earlier and like you said, the dad goes up in flames and then she gets possessed. And then that leads into what I consider to be the scariest moment in the whole movie when Peter wakes up and you... This is what Ari Aster does better than anybody. Uh, with the exception, of course, of Mike Flanagan, who in his Netflix series 
uh, all uh, haunting, especially Hill House and Bly Manor with the hidden ghosts, makes you like literally look at all four corners of the screen. Oh, you were talking about him. I almost thought of hands. Oh well, <laughs> <laughs> but um, it Ari Aster makes you look at every inch of the screen, and Peter wakes up. His father is dead. He doesn't know it yet. But he, he wakes up and you just see the, him waking up and you see the outline of the wall behind him and some light coming from the window. And then you, it takes you a few minutes to look, but what do you see? You see like the mall, like. Tony Collette is up in the corner <laughs> of his wall. It's kind of funny when you say that in that way. It's very funny. At this funny. point, she's possessed by uh, this demonic god, Payman, so she's, you know, she has these supernatural powers. But that scene is so and then she creepy. Calls. So this is a true story. I don't know if I ever told you this. So uh, this is before we switched bedrooms and mm -hmm. Mommy and I were sleeping in the small bedroom. Mm -hmm. uh, me, so my wife and I, uh, in our old bedroom... My wife had a white dress uh, on a hanger that we had from a hook. And I woke up in the middle of the night, pitch black room, and all I see is the outline, and we had the air conditioner on, and I see the outline of a white dress kind of just flowing in the darkness. And I flipped out because it, well, I had just seen Hereditary, and I was like, well, that's it, I, I gotta get up. And I got up. I was like 37 years old at the time, 36 years old at the time, got up, walked out of my own bedroom, and I came into the living room, turned on all the lights, and I slept on the couch with the TV on and the lights on, because I, th this movie really messed with my head. I'm surprised it didn't really mess with me. Yet. No, I, no, I'm glad, because you've had some, <laughs> you've had some horror movies that mess with you. Um... It, Mess, there, messed with me. I've slept on the couch for about a month after seeing Insidious. I, I gotta be honest. There's really only two horror movies that ever give me nightmares. It's Hereditary, it, Hereditary and it's... I have Michael Myers dreams. Really? I had a, Yeah, I had a Michael Myers nightmare last night. I have... And that's why I will always rank Michael ahead of uh, Freddy and Jason on my slasher list because he's the only one that ever legitimately gives me nightmares. I'm I'm gonna be forty soon. It's okay. You can. Freddy Krueger's about nightmares. Yeah, but Freddy Krueger talks and he and he's funny. And if I ever met That's Freddy in a nightmare, I'd be like, okay, at least he's gonna make me laugh. Yes. So I think I mean, look, the last twenty minutes of this movie involve Tony Collette creeping up on ceilings. They involve uh, poor Peter ch being chased into an attic um, where there's weird naked cult members. Uh, and then, of course, his mom, uh, you know. Yeah, she cuts off her own head. You know, totally normal stuff. Yeah. Uh, I do it every day. I mean. And the biggest complaint. So let me ask you, because the biggest complaint people have about Hereditary is the ending people think the ending is just crazy too crazy uh, i'd See, say it's pretty crazy it is <laughs> but my thing is if you pay attention throughout the movie I mean, I it makes it. sense and they explain it to a point where it makes sense because it has to do with all the cult stuff and uh, am i the only one who did not realize that when the camera was passing through the pole right when they were driving, to, when the brother and the Charlie were driving to the party, they passed through that pole, and there was the grandma. Oh, the symbol. Sign. Yeah, on the pole. So a you lot see, of people think that, like, that the fact that he swerved into that pole was not an accident. It was on purpose. Like, not that he did it on purpose, but that, like, the cult was, like, manipulating everything. It, very, here are the things that scare me, and I, here's the things that scare you, right? The things that scare me are cults. Cults always terrify me. And what about Cult of Chucky? Okay. Well, that, no. <laughs> uh, the things that scare you are like demons yes. and possession movies. I can't. So this is a combination of the two. It's And 
on top of that, it's the most intense family drama with some of the most intense scenes about grief. And where do they even live? Oh, my God, with, the, like, the miniatures in the woods, right? I think that house is in Utah, something like that. Not the miniatures. I mean, those are creepy, but not the miniatures. I'm talking about, like, where their house is. Like, where is their house? In the middle of nowhere? I think that was the point. The point was, like, they were isolated from everybody. You know, it's just proof that you shouldn't have a tree house. Yeah. No tree houses. Uh... If you haven't seen Hereditary, I Go mean, see it. we spoiled it, <laughs> you, we, but there's really, uh, it's one of those movies that I will say, it's better on rewatch, because the first time you see it, it, it impacts you crazily. Yeah, I ain't seeing this again. But when you, wa but what I mean is when you watch it the second or third time, you pick up on the things that you might have missed, mm. right? I mean, there's a ton of YouTube videos out there that will tell you things you missed and will point out all of these uh, little things for you to follow. But if you just, before YouTube and before the internet existed, you just had to rewatch movies and pick things up on your own. And this is that type of movie where the more you watch it, the more you go, oh crap, look, look at that guy over there. Oh my, and, and it's, it all starts to work itself out in your brain. I wonder if Susie's world has a hereditary. I'm not sure. Oh, thanks, um, <laughs> a funny part is that I was like, me and Charlie have a lot of com in, in common. And then a few minutes, like a minute later, she starts cutting off a head of a dead bird. And I'm just oh like, my God. That was, yeah. Oh. At the beginning of the movie. Never she, mind. Yeah. She's like, oh, I think I have a lot of in common with Charlie. Like literally right before the scissors cut off the dead bird head. And she's like, oh, um. Never mind. Yeah. So, yeah, this is not the type of movie that you want to share characteristics with the characters. Uh, they're all deeply, deeply troubled and uh, go through... Peter's fine. Well, Peter is... The only thing that makes him crazy is that he's getting possessed by a crazy demon. Yeah, and that, you know, he... Like, Charlie, the mom... Accidentally kills his, his sister. Accidentally. Yeah. Well, uh... I, I think Hereditary is the scariest and best horror movie of the last probably 10 years, maybe longer. Nothing will scare me more than Insidious, but it did pretty scare me. Okay, I'm glad it scared you. And you, you... Oh, you're glad it scared me. All right, it's a Wanna horror movie. Want to see you on the couch? Uh, so you would recommend this, though? I would recommend it. Okay, that's all I can. If care you're ready about. to cry, then you're ready to see it. Yeah, it's definitely a horror movie that will make you cry and then poop your pants. <laughs> so... Uh, we're going to be back with more reviews. I am going to get Charlotte here to watch some of the original 1930s classic universal horror films. Uh, I want to do, uh, mm. reviews of the original Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein. <coughs> uh, especially Bride of Frankenstein, since this is, uh, Valentine's Day month. I think that would be funny. You did, well, you did watch a few minutes of it the other day. The end of, like, the few minutes. Yes, but... Uh, the original Frankenstein is great, too, and they're very short movies. Uh, if you are looking for more content, uh, Charlotte and I have reviewed a ton of movies from the Scream movies to Ready or Not. Yes. Uh, over on Comic Books Transformed, which mm -hmm. is uh, Pete's other channel that uh, him and I are reviewing Raised by Wolves on HBO Max. And uh, him and Brian are also reviewing... Uh, Peacemaker and the Book of Boba Fett oh, as well. Okay. Uh, but if, for all of your horror content, you come here to the yes. Lasser cast, yes. you talk to Charlotte, and then she'll talk to me, and yeah. we'll do some reviews. Yeah. All right, Danny, Charlotte, Lasser cast. See you later. Bye.